ever since Pixel 4 came out, I was quite astounded by its design, especially the orange color Pixel 4 made me boost out. Pixel smartphones are quite expensive these days and everyone can't afford it, but the software that Pixel 4 runs is the purest form of Android and thanks to the open source of Android which led a way to install Android 10 on any compatible smartphone and transform your device into a Pixel smartphone. This is called Pixel 4 ROM aka Pixel Experience ROM. The new update of this ROM brings all new Pixel 4 for goodies. Currently, Pixel 4 ROM is now available for many Android devices. Hey, what's up guys? KS Kerala here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I will talk everything about this ROM. As usual, I will be using my Pocophone F1 to demonstrate with you guys about this ROM. So let's get started. Now let's start with pros as starting with the first one, the Pixel 4 launcher. As I said, the new update of Pixel ROM brings some of the Pixel 4 goodies out of the box, one of which is an all new Pixel 4 launcher, which would be the default launcher you get in this ROM. Within the launcher, a swiping to the right will let you view Google Cards, and swiping up from the bottom reveals the app drawer where you get to see all of the installed applications. Sadly, Pixel 4 launcher won't let you hide any apps or games, which is sort of bummer and you have to rely on any third-party app launcher. As usual, normal things like wallpapers can be accessed from the home screen. These are the same live wallpapers which has present in the Android Pie. As of now, by the time of recording this video, the Pixel 4 ROM is in the beta stage which means more Pixel 4 features will be added to the stable release. The live wallpapers which you are seeing right now are not pre-installed and these are the latest Pixel 4 live wallpapers which can be installed manually. These dynamic wallpapers adopt the system theme and also lets you customize the wallpaper according to your fancy which is damn cool. Sadly, there is no option of styles and themes found in this build. I hope in the upcoming builds, the developer will fix this issue. Now, what's new about this launcher is there are new developer settings present within the launcher settings. Using these flags, you can slightly modify the functionality of the launcher. I seriously don't know what exactly these flags do to the launcher. Now it's time to talk about the dark mode. Android 10 brings a system-wide dark mode which can be applied to the system applications along with the supported third-party applications. The all-new dark mode toggle is now available within the quick tile menu. With that simple shortcut, you can easily enable or disable the dark mode with one single tap. As you can see, the entire system now lives in dark. Especially notice the theming scheme of light wallpaper. It dynamically changed the theme and looks magnificent. We know that the Pixel 4 ROM also comes with a brand new Google Sans phone. It looks quite refined compared to the previous one. I am seriously a big fan of Google phones, especially the Google Sans phone. I can't move my eyes to stop looking good. From settings applications to dialer, everything looks super sharp with this phone. Now talking about the accent colors, this setting has now moved into developer options. Previously the option was present within the display setting. The accent colors in Android 10 are readily available and cannot be customized according to your fancy. For me, I like the ocean blue color which looks stupendous. Now Android 10 brings a system-wide navigation gesture out of the box which completely removes the traditional software keys. Inside settings, under system, gesture, system navigation, we can enable these navigation gestures which may bump up the speed of the navigating things across the system. Check this out, when you enable these navigation gestures, the system replaces it with one single horizontal home bar. Now swiping up from anywhere from the bottom jumps into the home screen. And as usual, these animations are more like iOS and trust me, Google has done a fantastic job of implementing these gestures in a very neat way compared to other Android OEMs. These navigation gestures are better smooth, now swiping up from the bottom and holding it for a while reveals the app switcher where you get to see all of the previously opened applications. Now to use a back gesture, you can either swipe left or right from the edges of the screen just like that will let you go one step back. Now one of the biggest improvements to these navigation gestures are switching between previously opened applications. Check this out, you can simply swipe a left or right from the bottom center to jump between multiple applications. These gestures are more natural and so super smooth. 
Now, talking about the sensor controls, we know that Android 10 comes with an option called a sensor controls, will let you turn off all sensors like proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, gyroscope, and more. The setting has found in this ROM will let you turn off all these sensors with one single tap, and it is present within the developer settings called a quick settings developer tiles. Inside this, make sure sensors off has enabled, then from the quick tile menu, add it to the main home page and that's it now let's put that into an action i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the all sensors just by enabling this option now if i try to open the camera application you can see it simply shuts down itself that means this feature is actively disabling every single sensor within the phone which is a good thing to have With that being said, uh, talking about the cameras, the ROM comes with a standard camera which is not usable at all. I have side loaded the Gcam 7 on my Pocophone F1 and it actually works fine without any issues. Now talking about the other features of the Pixel ROM include a notification bubbles where you get to see a floating icon of an application which can be accessed from anywhere. One simple example of that is the Dialer application. Now normal features like Wi-Fi, LTE, LTE, Bluetooth, fingerprint wide wide album UPI applications like Google Pay phone pay do work fine without any issues this ROM has also passed the safety net check test now when it comes to performance and battery I would say like other Android 10 custom ROMs pixel 4 ROM stands in my top three list as of now Havoc OS 3.0 is my favorite one but still compared to Havoc OS pixel ROM gives a tough competition in terms of performance from app launching to playing heavy games the ROM handles everything super smooth I have played PUBG at ultra high settings for 15 minutes and I have noticed a slight degrade in battery which is about 2% talking about the battery backup I usually get a five to six hours of SOT with normal usage like watching Amazon Prime and YouTube. Keep in mind the usage statistics may vary per individual. Now let's start talking about the cons. The first thing first, Wi-Fi hotspot may not work as intended. For me, it is actually working fine without any issues, but some users are complaining about this unreal behavior. Next one, the manual networking selection is missing. So within the settings panel, the manual networking selection has grayed out completely, which is sort of annoying. Number three, sadly, I didn't find any option called a face unlock in this build, which means you cannot use IR cameras on the Pocophone f to unlock your phone with front camera. I hope this feature will be added to future builds. And lastly, the sound output of the speaker in this ROM is damn too low. Overall, I would say these cons may not persist longer. The developers of this ROM may fix in the upcoming builds. So the bottom line of this video, definitely the Pixel 4 ROM is super amazing. I urge you to try the beauty of Android 10 on your smartphone today. So if you want to install this ROM on your smartphone, check the description box down below. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you do, then hit the like button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Once again, peace out.